Hey guys, so I recently came across this trick and I feel kind of dumb that I had never realized I could do this before, but I figured I would share it with you. I don't know if you've ever tried it or if you already heard about it and I'm just really slow, but um, this is something that I think is really cool. It's a really simple way to smudge your eyeliner without using a brush. The great thing about this is it's using a product that most people have in their homes and it's with using a Q-tip. Now, it sounds weird and it sounds like something that you normally wouldn't think of using, but this is something that actually works really well and I'm going to show you how it works. Um, you can use any black eyeliner, steel eye cordial and onyx. You can use something creamy like this. You can use a gel liner. You can even use like a regular black eyeliner and it smudges your eyeliner. You don't have to buy those disposable um, smudger brushes or even the ones where you pay like ten dollars for the brush and all it is is a little smudge thing on the bottom and it's so difficult to clean something like that because it's a sponge. This is something you can use and throw away. It's very hygienic which is good. I'm just going to show you how it's done. You take the eyeliner and you, you know, you do a line. You line your eye as you normally would. And then you take your Q-tip and you can just smudge it. Now obviously you're going to do it a lot neater than this on your eye, but this is, you know, you look at that, it's smudged. I'm going to show you how it looks with a gel liner. liner and you can also use a Q-tip to apply the gel eyeliner. So you can take it, put it in the pot, swirl it around a little bit, get some on there, and apply it with the Q-tip. It's a little more difficult to do a precise line with this, so this takes practice, but if you're new to the makeup game and you don't want to invest in a brush to do eyeliner, you can use this too. And then I'm going to take another Q-tip just to smudge it out. That's it. It's very simple. It's easy to do. I'm also going to show you with the um, Urban Decay 24-7 liner, which is something that's not really meant to be like buffed out or whatever. It's usually meant to be a straight line or like a dark line, but you can take your Q-tip and it doesn't really work as well with something like this. But if you really want just a pale, pale line and you want to smoke it out a little bit, this is something you do. I think that's pretty cool. Um, this is definitely something that I never would have thought of using. I found it out by accident when I was doing eyeliner and I smudged and I was like, oh crap, what do I do? And I grabbed a Q-tip and I ended up going over my eyeliner and it smudged it out and it looked great. It was smoky and it was so easy. And I was like, oh my god, how have I not known about this? So if you want to see how I did this look with the wing and nothing more than an eyeliner and a Q-tip, keep watching. So we're going to be using Stila's Eye Cajal and Onyx to complete this look. If you're using a pencil, you can just apply it directly to the lash line, but if you're going to be using something like a gel liner like this, you can just use the Q-tip to apply it and then blend it. But for this, I'm just going to apply it with the pencil, and I'm going to I'm going to smudge it out with the Q-tip. Okay, so we apply a line like this. It doesn't have to be perfectly straight. It doesn't have to be even. You just want to make sure that there's enough to work with. And you're going to take your Q-tip, and you're going to buff it. In order to get this nice little wing we have going on here, you want to take a little bit of your product that you're using and just dab it there. You don't want to smear it on because you're going to be blending it. and It'll be harder to blend. And you want to take your Q-tip and doing little short motions, just kind of blend it up. And you get this nice little triangle kind of wing here and it's that simple. 